time since you can track and measure you can uh, you can actually control the promotion time you can actually control when your ads would be showing up so it definitely it's one added advantage over the traditional marketing practice because uh, if i circulate um, or I, i i can't say i circulate if the newspaper is circulated in the morning Uh, definitely uh, your ads will go in the morning in a print ad but maybe my client doesn't get time and he 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 prefers uh, in the evening and uh, by that time maybe the paper um, uh, misplaces from his home because he has a two years kid and who has uh, you know who has uh, uh, tore the paper so definitely here what i'm trying to say with this example is that your customers according to their comfort their convenience can see your ads what they where they want to see when they want to see so digital marketing or e marketing gives you that privilege the lead times is shorter definitely because since it is giving you the real time leisure, uh, results the lead times are shorter you can also personalize your ads your information according to the requirement of your customer a facebook page can be in hindi or in english it can be in any language where your target audience are one to one marketing definitely since it gives this provision where individual customers can comment share can uh, talk about the brand can share their opinion can write their views uh, this platform is more about one to one marketing campaigns definitely are interesting because they have more of visuals they have more of audios they have more of uh, you know um, uh, more of um, um, text content info graphics which are actually more interesting to see than a plain simple hoarding in the uh, roadside corner so better conversion rate because of all these reasons the conversion rate is better than uh, a traditional marketing promotional effort the next topic which was given in the course syllabus was multi channel integration so what do i understand by integration integration means uh, adding on things okay so you integrate lot of things to get better results and e marketing actually integrates lot of uh, channels Uh, these channels are some of them are traditional in nature and some are digital in nature so the basic of marketing so what has changed you want to promote you want to share you want to inform uh, your customers right customers with the right message that yes here we are here and um, they can see us they can uh, know about us but what has changed is the number of option we have initially we had a limited option now we have many options related to retail e-commerce uh, mails telephone and then e market places bt trade places eba they are all market places so there are a lot of channels through which you can tell your customers here are our offerings here are our products here are our services uh, please look into us please see us please give us a chance to serve you all this is done with various kind of multi channels so simply we can say e marketing gives you gives you but definitely there it is a it's the first thing which a client or a customer would like to know uh, when they are looking for an option they they want to see know you and what's the best thing website website helps you helps the client to know you better then there are emails there are text messaging or sms there are mobile apps there are 
ways in which you can promote your product or brand on a website like they can type in your name, direct navigation, they can come through search results, they can come through web referrals. So definitely there are these many types of e-marketing options which the client or customers uses to get and reach you and then think about uh, you as an option for their needs and requirements. of price, place, product and promotion in a digital marketing context. Like everything which we opt for making this marketing mix in terms of price, place, product and promotion has gone online, has gone digital. It should, it includes all the process, all the, uh, all the uh, mix of marketing. You cannot avoid product, promotion, price, place and you cannot give some a kind of thing coming into the pre uh, picture. No, definitely the product, promotion, price, place, people, process, physical evidence which for services we have uh, read in uh, various books. Talk about, uh, you know, place. Initially, the place, uh, if I talk, used to have trade channels, sales uh, support, then, um, you know, um, exhibitions and trade shows. These were the place. But now what has added into it are the online channel, then uh, mobile app, then uh, marketplaces that has added into the online marketing mix digital driven consumers. So these were not very mobile or social, but digital driven segment are highly mobile and social. They value convenience and will go to great length to avoid going to a store. So they, do, they are not like uh, store goers, they are more receptive to advertising. In this group, 30% more likely to find ads valuable than other groups, especially paid search ad. They are the one who look for paid search ad. They are the one who clicks the search ads. They are the one who uh, uses a lot of mobile and social um, platform to understand about a brand and then go. Uh, they take a lot of time to uh, make a purchase. Even this is true for calculated shoppers. They take long time to make a purchase. They are not in hurry. They consider all the best deals in every site, every uh, you know, um, a platform and they are uh, likely to be showroomers like window shoppers, they are the showroomers and they will use their mobile device to price compare when they are close to a purchase. So maybe a Trivago user is a calculator shopper or a Policy Bazaar user is a calculated shopper because they want to compare prices, they want to get the best deal from uh, the um, businesses who are offering his kind of product. This group is highly likely to use search and are responsive to advertising that offers discounts and specials. Next, good morning everyone. Today, technology to increase the scale and scope of customer services as quoted by Greenberg in 2001. Very, very uh, simple that when information and communication technology is used to help the customer with different kind of customer services by the business. It is nothing but electronic customer relationship management. Fenberg and Kadam in 2002 again defined CRM as the acquisition and retention of customers and the resulting profitability. Definitely if I add this with information and communication technology in this definition if I add CR, eCRM is mostly defined in terms of the acquisition through online channel and retention of customers using online channel and then resulting into business profitability it becomes eCRM. So this is eCRM 
and it comprises direct interaction in use of data on consumer for raising relationship with the customers. Why data is important nowadays because that helps in CRM and this data is generated through uh, by using lot of electronics medium and therefore digital marketing is growing, data analysis is growing, why business antics is growing because we are getting lot of data through online. With the emergence of internet and continued advances in technology, CRM has entered a new era as defined by Luck and Langsters in 2003. See, if you see this uh, picture, you see the CRM system remains the same. The What has added into this CRM system is that we capture lead online, we, we capture, uh, you know, uh, and the purchase pattern and behavior of our online shoppers. We purchase, we also capture uh, leads through Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WordPress, and we also have a traditional uh, customer portal channel who are talking to customers, understanding their feedback. So when we add all these traditional and online medium to understand the customer's feedback, the response, their requirement, then we actually make reports and analytics about how the customer relationship management will be taken care. The strategies are framed not just with one part of traditional marketing but also with integrating the electronic part and collecting data and response and service and using it for understanding the CRM better. The application of technology to customer relationship management initiative is one of the fastest growing technological development. Internet technologies plays a significant role in many business nowadays. Nothing to explain. An important internet, internet related technology is electronic customer relationship management which I was talking earlier and it allows building long term relation between companies and customers because it has lot of data for about the customers which the companies can use for providing better offerings to the customer. It evaluates customer loyalty and profitability definitely. Uh, customer lifetime value is something which, uh, which, which, which should be understood by the uh, companies to invest money uh, on them uh, wisely. So uh, this customer's lifetime value can be calculated using electronic medium customer loyalty, their profitability to the business, their repeat purchases, their amount of money they are spending will help the customer, help the business to know which customers are their key, um, key account uh, holders or you can say they are the one who are the main important part of their business. So again a Pareto rule uh, applies here that they understand who are those 20 percent who are bringing the business and definitely uh, accordingly they invest their money on uh, retaining their 20 percent rather than um, you know acquiring that 80 percent which gives no business to the uh, which gives no uh, revenue to the business. These are the three components of ECRM. It is based on pre-sale information, it is based on electronic services and it is based on post-sales support. So the information which uh, the company gets online before the sales and uh, the medium they use when the services are uh, transact or there are purchase online and then the post-sale support which they again give understanding how the customer's feedback was uh, for the product. There is the difference between CRM and eCRM. Just see that nothing has changed. The only addition of digital uh, channel or digital medium have, has come up. If I talk about the customer data collection techniques, again in CRM there was customer information, their transaction history, their product information. In eCRM 
what has added is the clicks and content information which the customer reads. So, we understand uh, what are the uh, items which have been in cart but have never been purchased. We understand what have been where the last page uh, the customer has visited have clicked but after that they have not gone for uh, for the payment gateway. So, uh, the, in, in analysis of customer characteristics again you see uh, customer profile, past transaction history is there. But we are also able to understand their activity analysis, what they do, how much time they spend on a page, uh, when they go back to another site, from which page to which page they uh, actually serve the net and uh, many other things uh, when they are online. So, all the activities they are into it, uh, into uh, you know when they are online can be traced and tracked to understand our customers better. Online branding again is nothing but when you are trying to build your brand using the uh, internet, the world wide web or any kind of electronic medium. Branding in this digital age is very important and it has become important because it has also become easier. You know you are able to reach, you are able to um, give your ads 24 by 7, you are able to talk to your customers, you are able to um, you know and get data about your customers. So, definitely according to Wikipedia which has said that branding in this digital age is increasingly important with the advancements of the internet. Most businesses are exploring various online channels which include search engines, social media, online press releases, online market marketplaces to establish strong relationship with the consumer and to build their brand awareness. So, online branding definitely can be done using online platform. As mentioned uh, the benefits of e-commerce similarly the e-marketing similarly there are benefits of online branding and you see the, it is it, the same if I can uh, talk about it. Just that uh, there it is e-marketing you are um, uh, using electronic uh, channel for your marketing from start to finish and here you are just using uh, electronic uh, channels for your branding process which is a part of marketing. So, global reach without any geographical or time limit it has low entry cost again the ROI thing which I have explained earlier. It helps to build and gain trust of customers, you get instant customer response once you are uh, promoting your brand. Uh, uh, so, the customers do not wait or the, you do not wait for uh, uh, a result after 6 months or 1 month or after um, 1 quarter, you get the result instantly what the customers talks about you. You build leads for business easily using all the platforms and you are able to target your market with uh, real time results. So, it is it's, it's convenient to adopt online technique, it just needs some bit of training and once it is done it is easier uh, than said. It is highly cost as well as time effective. Last for this part 1 of unit 2, what is traffic building? Traffic building again is the method by which one can increase their website traffic. Some techniques of traffic building are, see why traffic building is important because your increase in your website traffic will help you to increase your search rank. So, how do you do that? You use unique and fresh content, you use SEO techniques, technical SEO and you use uh, definite uh, social media, you use paid search, you use RSS feed and mobile app to help to build your traffic on the site. So, um, increasing number of people visiting, visiting your site is very essential to build your ranking on search engines. So, this was all for part 1 of unit 2. If you have liked it, please subscribe to our video and share it with your friends. We will come uh, with unit 2 part 2 uh, in next 2 3 days and till then uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Good morning everyone. 
Uh, I come here with uh, the second part of Digital Marketing Unit 2 for AKTU students and the subject code is RMBMK03. So let's see what we are going to cover in Unit 2 Part 2. So we have e-commerce and internet marketing. The This portion is for 9 hours and you must have uh, listened to the part one transaction that involves the transfer of information across the internet. So very simply, we can say that any kind of monetary transaction which takes place over an electronic medium and very uh, well you can understand this because you all are using these days Google Pay, Paytm, you use NEFT transaction, through your online bank account. You make these things easy because of this electronic medium. So all this transaction which takes place on an electronic medium is termed to be as electronic commerce. And yes, definitely the shopping which you do using Mintra, Jabong, uh, Amazon also comes to be known as the part of electronic commerce. And these companies are known as market e-places. So it is this buying and selling of goods and services. So banking was the services, buying a product from Mitra was goods or the transmitting of funds. So when your father transfers your fee through an NEFT account in his access bank, he is doing nothing but using electronic network, primarily the internet and the app or the desktop version of mobile banking and is doing e-commerce. These business transactions occur either as business to business, business to consumer, consumer to consumer or consumer to business. So e-commerce model, if I talk about what are the various e-commerce model, the first one is B2B, so business to business. So any supplier or any manufacturer buying in bulk from Amazon is termed to be as B2B model. When from a business a consumer buys a product maybe one unit, two unit and not in bulk, it is known as business to consumer. That is selling from a business to a consumer, B2C model. Sometimes like quicker OLX, you will find that consumer is selling to a consumer. So the third model is consumer to consumer model. Then comes consumer to business where a consumer is giving an option for a business to purchase something from them maybe a freelancer like me who would like to give his consultancy or his services to a client who wants freelancer and not hire a full-time paid employee so we see that there is b2b b2c c2c and c2b what are the advantages of e-commerce over traditional retail so we had a retail shop nearby but now we like going shopping to big bazaar and we are buying the same sort of products maybe more than what we used to do every month while buying our grocery so let's see why e-commerce over the uh, last one decade has grown so much why people uh, like shopping over buying a product Let's talk about the first point which says that it helps to overcome geographical limitation. Definitely, we don't have time. Everybody is working, everybody is busy and everybody even don't have time to go to the nearby shop and make a purchase. So what he or she does is buy online. So I actually save my time because my shop is present at my place on a click. So if I have to purchase something, I don't have to uh, get ready, go out, purchase, come back, again undress and be in my uh, house pajamas and then start my work. So what I can do, I can simply sit in my bed, use my laptop, use my mobile and purchase whatever I want and that will be delivered to me on my doorstep. Now the advantage we also see that it helps the businesses to gain new customers with search engine visibility. 
a hoarding of a retail shop will be uh, seen by only those people who are passing by that site or who is on that road but a ad by the same retailer over the internet will be seen by majority of the people who are watching a youtube video or working on a laptop or trying to search a nearby grocery store which gives a door delivery very easily than a retailer who puts a hoarding so this is an also advantage for the person who is selling the goods both on a retail shop and online so his presence is more his reach is more his consum uh, awareness his brand awareness among the consumers are more then it is lower cost see definitely when i talk about lower cost i do not mean that you spend less but what i mean is that your roi is best so if you invest 100 rupees and you get a return of 110 through a traditional medium here if you invest the same amount of 100 rupees but your roi that is 130 is much better than 110 so therefore relatively from traditional retail e-commerce or virtual retail shops are using lower cost of you know promoting their brand you locate the product quicker the brand is uh, more easily recognized the recall value increases the sellers get a better roi for their promotional budget it eliminates the customers travel time and cost which i mentioned earlier that you don't have to travel you don't have to get ready you save your time you save your cost and you it also provides comparison shopping so you want to buy a pair of jeans you check out in various kinds of online brands which gives you this option so you go and see jabong you go and see mitra you also check out flipkart you check out amazon you check check out the online store for uh, lee and then you compare and then you buy a pair of your jeans it enable deals bargains coupons and group buy so not only the discount offers which are readily available on traditional retail shop here in e-commerce the same discounts are there or much better so you also save cost you save time you get better deal and you get a huge amount of discounts and cashbacks and coupons for your next purchase since e-commerce industry runs on information the best part is that you get a large amount of information the customer you the customer gets a large amount of information on their platter so you have abundant information when you are on an e-commerce platform so in a retailer in a re in a traditional retail shop you only believe on the retailer's word you get the information which the retailer wants you to hear you do not get extra but when you are on a virtual world when you are trying to compare products when you are trying to understand the expiry date when you are trying to understand the review of the customers who have already purchased no retailer no brand no company can actually restrict you not to get that information so that is the best part of being online over an e-commerce platform and doing the deal definitely there are security issues and therefore uh, there are a definite kind of preventive measure which as a customer as a brand you need to take encryption is one of them where you see that your bank accounts are encrypted and you give you you get a warning message that uh, this account information does not go to the merchant with whom you are doing a transaction some of the popular e-commerce company i have been mentioning this name and i am definite that you all know that these are one of the biggest one of the